What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel, and welcome to episode 3 of Quest, where we're trying to make a team for every single Gigantamax mod in order of the Pokedex. It's episode 3, which means we're on to the third Kanto starter, which is Gmax Blastoise, and we have a very special guest with us today, friend of the channel, James Beck. Uh, you want to say hi, James? Yeah, what's up, Moxie Boosted crew? How are you doing? I don't like that you called him a crew. <laughs> you know, we're done. No, we're, we're done. <laughs> This isn't One Piece. We're done. That we get, we don't got crews. Uh, <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean, if you want to give like an introduction, like ob obviously, like most of EGC players know who you are. But in case they don't, like what are, what you've done in the past, uh, you know, your esports organization, that sort of thing. Uh, currently, I'm a part of Beast Coast. Uh, we're we have a quite a bit of a Pokemon team right now, especially of creators like uh, Aaron Cybertron, Zang, uh, Chaotic Meatball, and Celios Network. Currently. Uh, I play a lot of VGC. I've been playing since like 2009, but I didn't really start going into full competitive until 2014. And ever since then, I've been able to win three regional championships. I've won an international championship with several cuts and also top four the 2019 world championship. So basically, James is a cool dude who really likes Blastoise. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm just assuming is... you like Blastoise, but I'm pretty sure it, this. I was just like, hey, you want to do Blastoise? <laughs> I mean, Blastoise is probably the one I would pick if I ever played Fire Red and Leaf Green. <laughs> have you never played it? No, I, I have. Uh, oh, okay. Blast, Blastoise was definitely my pick back then. I, I really liked um, the Fire Red Leaf Green sprites, to be honest. I always thought it was weird the way that they colored Blastoise. He almost looked like he was made of clay in that sprite for some reason. Like, I always just dissociated that. Uh, yeah, there were a lot of weird choices, I think, back in the early days of Pokemon and sprites, but I don't know, I thought Fire Red and Leaf Green were pretty cool. I never played the red and blue. I played a bit of yellow, but I don't think I got, got far enough to where you get the actual, like, Kanto starters. <laughs> Can we agree that Cheeked Up for Alligator is the best one? Oh, yeah, facts. Yeah, but yeah, all right, I, I think we should probably talk through the team. Uh, so, yeah, we made a Blastoise team. Uh, GMAX Blastoise is uh, infamous for being just especially good on, like, Zacian balance teams. Uh, obviously, Zacian doesn't like going up against things. Like, well, Zacian doesn't care about going up against anything, but the things that Zacian likes going up against less, like Groudon or other ground types like Landorus, um, Blastoise just does particularly well versus them. And Blastoise, as well as um, being a very powerful offensive on with its... Um, Max Camnade dealing damage to everything that isn't a water type on the field uh, for six turns or four turns. Is it six? I always I think it's it, it's four turns. Four it's turns. Four. That's what it is. It's one sixth of your health for four turns. I always mix them up. Um, but yeah, I knew that. I'm just tired. <laughs> but yeah, yeah it's, so it's truly balanced for sure. Very very balanced, especially when your opponent only has one water type maximum. Uh, but yeah, uh, it's also able to be a support Pokemon with a lot of tools, so I, we definitely lean into that. Uh, the Blastoise set that we're running today is Wakanberry. We basically eat one electric move from everything, and I think we have enough bulk where if it is like a, you know, Regieleki plus Calyrex and Nerf thing, we probably take a Max Lightning if it's not like physical Life Orb. If it's just like, you know, a non-Life Orb set, I would imagine we eat that Dynamaxed. Um, we're Torrent because while well, a lot of people think that Rain Dish is good for Rain teams, you definitely want Torrent because in a lot of situations when you're Dynamaxed, you're gonna be within Torrent range and it just helps out so much. It's basically, you know, it, it, it's basically a choice specs. It's it's such a good ability and I think it's really underrated. Uh, we have Fake Out, Helping Hand, Hydro Cannon, Icy Wind, so you can see that we're also running like a supportive set in case we don't want to uh, Gigantamax this mod. It's able to Helping Hand a lot of other Pokemon on our team like Reshiram, Zacian, and Zapdos. Those are going to be pretty much the other three Pokemon it, it will Helping Hand. Uh, it, I, I don't imagine we'll be Helping Handing a Sableye anytime soon, but yeah. Uh, moving on to the Reshiram, uh, you want to talk about that one, James? Yeah, we have a pretty bulky Reshiram. So one of the things that we wanted when we were building this team is we could have gone to standard Calyx Shadow Rider as Ocean Root with Blastoise, but I thought, you know what, let's have a little bit of fun. So it was usually between like Rayquaza or Reshiram, which I think Blastoise pairs pretty well with, especially with Zacian. I like the Helping Hand combination, especially. Uh, we decided on going with the Assault Vest Reshiram for the bulk and, you know, dealing with other uh, Zacian's, there's a, it's a decent Calyx Shadow Rider or Zacian matchup where they really struggle against Reshiram, as well as some really nice answers against Sun because Reshiram really does hit, hurt the Sun teams pretty well. So we have this really strong Fire Dragon Pokemon with Draco Meteor, Earth Power, Solar Beam, and Blue Flare. 
really great coverage in general the eevee spread here we wanted to survive or have the highest chance of living like a precipice blades from neutral groudon we really wanted some offense so we went as much special attack as we possibly could and then the speed uh moxie really likes to speed creep groudons if possible so just some extra bit of speed there in order to give us the best chance of outspeeding most of the Groudons that you would commonly see, especially the Assault Vest ones that are bulky. Look, Groudon just makes me paranoid. Like, it, when you're using it, you, you're never safe because, you know, you might miss a P-Blades and lose. When you're facing it, you know, if, if you're faster than it, you know, why not? It might miss a P-Blades and then you get to attack twice. That's just my mindset. That's just my mindset. I just don't like being slower than Groudon. <laughs> um, but yeah, next up is Azacian. Uh, we're running enough speed where we're able to outspeed Reggie Lucky at plus one speed. If we end up, you know, next to um, our Dynamax Zapdos and we go for Max Airstream, then we're outspeeding Reggie Lucky. Uh, beyond that, we're just able to always take a Precipice Blades from Groudon at neutral. And I believe the special defense is probably enough where we can take like a water spot if we really, really need to from like, is it Mystic Water or is it just like non-Mystic Water? We definitely eat. We always live timid Mystic Water and I believe Modest, we have like a very high chance of surviving most yeah. of the time. But yeah, you know, just standard Zacian. Um, I kind of miss when Zacian didn't run play rough, I'll be honest. Uh, back in like series 10, but it's sort of mandatory now. But yeah, uh, here's the Sableye, James. Yeah, we have Focus Dash Sableye here. So a lot of the Rush Ram Zacian teams in the past used to run a Grim Snarl, which was pretty common on the Battle Stadium ladder. But we decided that, you know, some weather control could be really cool, as well as Willis. I thought Sableye was pretty interesting here. Screens is pretty much an easy route, but I thought like Sableye could really have some either Sunny Day or Rain Dance mind games against the opponents. So we ended up going with the Focus Dash Sableye because Sableye, even though we invest in a lot of bulk, it is not exactly great if you look at his base stats right here. So it kind of need the Focus Dash to survive a lot of hits like Kyogre Water Spout, X moves, as well as Zacian, of course. Uh, Prank Surge just makes Sableye usable with Rain Dance here to help out with the Blast Toys. It can also really help out against Sun Teams. And we've also considered Sunny Day for the Rush Ram, boosting up its power. But really, Rush Ram already does some pretty solid damage by itself. So we decided to go with the Rain Dance to really screw up some of the Sun Teams, such as like Venus or Chlorophyll. It's really nice against. Foul Play, of course, the damage of choice here. It does some pretty significant damage as well as like you know you could foul play into an incendiary slot and they try to party shot into a big massive attacker foul play is going to do a good amount wash for the speed control which is always nice because we don't really have it on this team other than like icy wind blastoise and sometimes you're just going to be pairing sableye with blastoise anyway and then willis of course to slow down like the really offensive pokemon like zacian for instance the eevee spread here i guess uh we do survive a burned play rough from a Zacian naturally but also just helps out with like really boom grassy glide which can be a very big thing since it does out prioritize save light most of the time yeah and notably you know like you mentioned like it's pretty hard to find a better item than focus ash on sableye for a couple of reasons sableye doesn't really want to do damage unless there's like a really really specific thing that gets a one shot by like black glass of sableye you'd be hard pressed not to run focus sash or mental herb and we don't particularly care about mental herb here like that that focus sash gets you so much mileage on it so yeah yeah the only thing you would probably want to run otherwise is like a trick set if it's like the trick iron ball or trick lagging tail or sometimes even the trick eject button but uh th those are sometimes used on sableye but we don't really need it i think on this team yeah uh, next up is a Rillaboom. Um, as previously mentioned, I don't like being slower than Groudon. I like the fact that we can wood hammer it and we don't have to grassy glide. That is all it does. <laughs> That's really the entire thing is just, what is it? 124 speed is just like the absolute fastest that we really see Groudon right now. Um, we have max attack with a miracle seed to one shot. Things like uh, Kyogre and, uh, I, you know, obviously Gastrodon. Uh, on, a, on a Blastoise team, I feel like Rillaboom is almost necessary because it's just the most reliable remover of um, Gastrodon, which is especially good in this format. And Gastrodon can hard shut down a Blastoise, not only by the fact that it absorbs its water move, but by the fact that it really doesn't care about getting hit by any other move from a Blastoise. If you're running, you know, I, I haven't seen like Hyper Beam, but <laughs> if you're running like a Hyper Beam Blastoise for like speed control or something, even that being your strongest option versus a, a Gastrodon probably won't even like two, maybe even three hit KO it. So yeah, you need to be able to remove Gastrodon if you're running it. And my voice cracked twice today because tired, <laughs> but yeah. 
Uh, and finally, the Zapdos. This one's pretty basic, James. Yeah, we <coughs> decide to have like electric and flying coverage. I feel like it's just really nice having a max airstream on in general in this format, especially since we do kind of like the speed control. It just having a ground switching is just really nice because even though Rillaboom can switch into Groudon, it doesn't really like switching into the partner. So just having another way to hit bulky water types, of course, is always appreciated when a lot of our Pokemon other than Rillaboom can't really touch the bulky waters like Kyogre, for instance. So having a life orb Zapdos just really helps us, especially against Charizard as well. It's a nice backup. Uh, we have the life orb static set, Eerie Impulse here to help out a little bit against Palkia. Palkia's do get a little bit threatening, especially next to Redirection. So we have Hurricane, Weather Ball, and Rising Voltage. We decide to have Weather Ball because, you know, we have a Sableye. We also will probably bring this against some Sun Teams, and just having the Weather Ball seemed pretty nice in general. And we didn't really need the Heat Wave coverage with the Reshiram, so... We have a pretty fast Zapdos. I think Tim and Max Speed Zapdos is just pretty nice with your Impulse. If you face like one of the Kiram's or one of the uh, Max Speed Dialgas and Palkias, it's just always nice to have at least a chance to speed die like the Palkia and have a bit of eerie impulse the special attack we always ko a charizard through max with the rising voltage dynamax move which is max lightning 140 base power compared to thunderbolt and then the rest is just a bit of bulk for his and play rough uh, giving us the highest chance to survive it yeah i mean we definitely made like a super balanced focused team like it feels like we can play defensive when we need to and then like we can flip the switch if super necessary uh, and versus super unprepared teams that don't like Blastoise, you know, like Sun teams that for some reason don't have a, a Grout or a Gastrodon. We just hit that Rain Dance, hit that Max Cannonade, and probably just sweep through it. So yeah, uh, let me go ahead, throw the code on screen for you guys right now. If you guys want to check it out, obviously you can rent it from this. It'll be available until the end of the series, aka when Scarlet Violet drops. And of course, you can check out the Pokey Paste and everything related to the team in the Google uh, sheets that is listed down below in the comment section, but uh, let's go ahead and grab some games. Okay, we're grabbing the games, and I should have definitely gotten a glass of water in between this, but I didn't. Uh, let's go ahead and switch I over wait, to you this. You can still get your glass of nope, water. No, too want. late. Too late. I will, me with my dry lips and my dry mouth and my lack of ability to find the team. Weird. Three, there right? it is. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but yeah, um... I don't know if you've seen the other videos yet, James. We, it tends to be pretty casual. You know, we might do something stupid on purpose if it makes for good content and openly acknowledge it. <laughs> that sounds like a classic collab. All right, let's see how this goes. Ooh, I definitely have played this person before. That's a Gengar. I've never seen a Gengar on their team. I mean, I don't know if this is a common IGN in Japan because there's like quite a few who use repetitive ones, but okay. Yeah, I'll be honest. Um, whenever I see a Gengar Trick Room team, I'm always paranoid that the Gengar will also have Trick Room, because Sash, Trick Room Gengar actually isn't that bad. <laughs> uh, and I'd imagine, like, in Best of One, like, that's exactly what they're banking on. I'm kind of curious if this is in prison on this team. It's possible. Th this could be like a bluff, just tail and offense team. Yeah, that's why I think Sableye might be really good, because it does well into both modes on lead. Yeah, I like Sableye because we can whisk the Calyrex Ice Rider right away. And then we can whisk the Cali Ice Rider as well as like even their Reelaboom is just really nice in general. Yeah. How do you feel about just going Blastoise uh, Sableye on lead for this? Because, well, I think they might lead off with Reelaboom. It's really not the end of the world because we can just wisp and switch into like Zacian or something. Uh, I could see it. I like Reelaboom as a lead mainly just because I feel like we have no Kyogre pressure. Which That's is true. One of the big things I think here. The end of back, this is where it gets questionable. Uh, Blastoise is okay here. We got 10 seconds, bro. I think Zacian and Blastoise. Let's go with Zacian and Blastoise. All right. All right. Yeah, I, I like this. You know, uh, something to note is our Sableye doesn't have Fake Out, which. You, it's weird. Sable is the type of Pokemon. It's a rare exception where it has so many tools that you could afford not to run Fake Out on it, and that that's like super rare. Like the only other Pokemon that I can think of that does that is like Grim Snarl. Yeah, I think this is okay though because Sable is slower than like most of the Fake Out mods anyway. This is actually a perfect lead for us, assuming we actually connect our attacks. Yeah. Um, how do you feel about just Wisp on the Cali Heart Switch in Blastoise? Uh, do we want to go Blasters or do we want to go Zacian? Because I think Zacian's in a fantastic spot here if we wish to Cali. Uh, that's true. 
but I don't think that they brought their own Rillaboom, judging off the Calyrex Whimsicott lead. I think that they might have actually gone like in Sin versus this team for that reason, and definitely Kyogre in the back. The reason I think that like Blastoise might be a good, well, we're definitely going to Will-O-Wisp though, um, is literally just because like we don't mind taking damage on Blastoise, where Zacian's like a much more iffy Pokemon when it comes to living hits after, because um, it I'm doesn't not. do a lot of Dynamax. I think if we burn it, I think we're in a pretty good spot. I don't even think we need to help on Zacian to win this game. I think Rillaboom Blastos can just clean up this team as long as we get rid of the Cali Ice. All right. But we'll find out. It's going to be Lumberry. <laughs> or we're just going to miss here. Nah, nah. I don't know if you know this. All my Sable, I have a built-in wide lens. It's a passive. Oh. All right. This is definitely a team from the East. Ooh, nice Willow hit. Thank you. I was does does Whimsicott get like safeguard? It does, yes. Cause that was something that I thought about for just a second and I was like, I don't like that. <laughs> I didn't think they were gonna go for safeguard, but that would have been pretty crazy if we do. I'm pretty sure that this Whimsicott it, I think it's probably gonna probably help. Again? The, I think it's the charm light screen trick room set. Um for that reason. If they're running Charm, do you want to go for, like, both Foul Play and Behemoth Blade? Yeah, Just... I, wouldn't, I wouldn't mind KOing the Whimsicott here. Or, do you want to KO the Whims, or do you want to go for the Zacian? Because, like, I feel like Whims could just be really annoying with the Charm for the Rillaboom, because of Kai uh, we want the Rillaboom to have as much attack as possible to deal with the Kyogre. Also, yeah. like, the Kali Ice is just not doing anything right here. That's true. We can just double him. I guess I just hope that this, uh, I wonder, maybe this was not the right play, actually, because if it's not Sash Whimsicott or if it's not Charm, we could have messed up a big if we do activate a policy here. Although I don't think it's really too bad still. Even if it is, like, it's just going to be neutral. And they're they're wasting a Dynamax on a Burnbond. Like, I'm not terribly concerned. I wonder if they go for the Sableye. The Sableye's kind of annoying for them. Oh, yeah. Charm? It oh, charm. it is. Okay, yeah, we're good. Okay. Be a beery okay. whim. <laughs> I wouldn't be. I wonder. I uh, is this the bolt set? No, I don't think it is. There, there was one whimsicott I think at Japan NAS that had Endeavor Beery Berry, but yeah. All right, this isn't gonna KO, but, yeah, but we at the very least didn't activate a policy, and we probably don't lose them on this turn. Yeah, are they quaking? Yeah, yeah we're fine. Quaking. Honestly, if if there's no boom in the back, like our, our blast dice just gets better and better. Yeah, we we take another max quake, and I don't think this is the helping hand wounds God says, because you want to imagine they have an attacking move and one speed control method. Yeah. Um a plus I mean, do you think Behemoth Blade into foul play KOs after we activate policy? I'm a little concerned because it is Dynamaxed and our Behemoth Blade won't be doing that initial damage we want. I wouldn't risk it realistically. I think we just, just... let it happen. Yeah, I think we just like let this Cali Ice sit here. I think what we do is uh, we could reposition the Sable if we want to, because I uh, if we we could go like in the Blastoise for Fake Out, or we could go for just a Willis into the Whimsicott slot. Like I think both are good, but I think Blastoise in is pretty solid and just going for the KO and the Whimsicott here. Yeah, I, yeah, because Blastoise at the very least, you know, next turn we get Fake Out pressure. Next turn we get oh my monitor just went out for a second. That was weird. Next turn we get um, Helping Hand if we really need Ooh. it. Instant. Oh. I almost sacred sorted, but I didn't think it was worth it in any situation. But yeah, I, that almost confirms no boom. Yeah, if we wanted to make a mid ground, we could have risked a play rough. But honestly, if the instant comes in, we have a blast twist in. So I think this is like completely fine realistically. Yeah, because like next turn, we always sacred sword um, into max cannonade. And then I don't think we ever lose. And the reason I want to say like sacred sword is because, you know, it, it they're going to quake here. They should quake for sure. Yep. They shouldn't KO based on the prior damage, but let's see if it was a roll. Yeah. Yeah, we're fine, and we can we can lose our Zacian here for being real because we kept the boom in the back, and this is the only real wall that's like annoying us. Uh, do we want to sack the Zacian or do we want to save it? Because I could see us saving it if we really want to. <sighs> My main concern is, you know what? Yeah, you're probably right. We can probably hold on to it. The reason I was a little bit iffy is because I was like, I don't want to let this, like, Incinera parting shot out on us. Because it's going to live. 
I think that's fair as well. I'm just worried because with the Kali Ice Bedeft up, uh, we don't like nuke it immediately, which is like a very big concern for me. That's true, uh, but we do a lot of damage with Cannonade after this turn because he's going to end his Dynamax, um, and then well, we can just foul play it. Well, he could be at plus three after, which is my... We're not going to do damage anyway. I actually rather just go hard into Sableye right here because I think Sableye done its job. Because yeah. I feel... And we I can rain like, dance too. It's not like we lose it. I don't even think party shots that bad for us because we get the initial damage in the instant. So like everything's weakened at this point, other than Kyogre, which we're gonna save for later. And they're gonna switch out the instant, so they don't have a special defense increase. Yeah, like this. That's probably Kyogre. Fun. This is still gonna do a decent amount though, because we're going before the quake boost, and it is rain boosted. Yeah, I wanna have. I was thinking about we could have potentially hard, went hard real boom here, but I do not want to risk them calling and going for the hailstorm into our Zacian for yeah, because it was already low enough where it was in range. I actually don't know. I mean, I guess no. I think it probably was. We yeah, like 12 HP. 12 HP. We were in range of a of a max uh, hailstorm. They could have just gone for it. Yeah. So let's just see. We get any. Any initial chip is pretty fine here, and they just don't have a way to break through the blast zones currently. Which yeah, is really good. Let's see if this is assault dust because I think that's gonna be a pretty big question. That um, looks okay. AV. Honestly, though, that is I would I would call that good news it if it's AV. Star. Yeah. Okay. Good thing we did not go real boom. There right, we take nice. that. Um, how do you feel about? Do we want to rain dance here to get like that initial big damage on the Calyrex? Uh, I don't know. The Calyrex is at plus two. I mean, I don't think it's really worth it. Well, I guess like the Kyurus and Ranger Grass, they glide either way. So we have like multiple routes we could technically approach here. Yeah. I wouldn't mind. Uh... We could waste the Kyogre, which isn't bad. The residual damage is actually still pretty nice because this thing's healing from grassy terrain. We could go for that rain that's max cannade. The only thing is, though, I don't think that's doing more than like 30% even in the rain. That's true. That's true. That's true. So really uh, I think the Wisp play is probably the best then. Because Wisp at the very least then, like the Kyogre does get me residual healing off of terrain or anything and it is taking the the hail too which will always leave it in range of pretty much anything also i'm gonna go let my dog in because this is the third episode in a row where he's barking to have me let him into my room while he while i'm recording Wait, that is an assault vest <laughs> is it just like fat anyways I, I, hold on hold on i'll be right back <laughs> All right, we get a massive, massive cannade off. This is gonna do like 15%, not even, that's not even 10%, geez. Uh, they went for the lands, but this is actually a pretty good position. Uh, main reason is we could probably just go out into our real boom afterward and pressure to Kyogre. And I could see multiple different routes here where we just get real boom in. And All right, just James, I'm back. Did a good happen or did a bad happen? Uh, they KO'd our Sableye, but that's actually really good for us. I we get a free switch in. Yeah, I like I like either... We could go either Real Boom or our... I don't mind going Real Boom here and putting on pressure right here. Yeah, I think we just go hard boom and we don't even target the Kyogre here. Because it did... Well, I mean, it has Protect, but they're probably just going to go right in and send. Yeah, so I want to go into Real Boom for sure here. I want to click fake out into the Kali Ice probably and I actually want to probably candy the uh, the Kyogre because yeah. this switch is super obvious their, their only defensive counterplay is the incense switch and or the Whimsicott yeah. even um, yeah, actually Whimsicott did, stack wouldn't be a bad play for them but yeah. I think it's fine regardless because we have protect on both Pokemon yeah so candidate here fake out there Yeah, and that and also like prevents a TR the residual damage is just building up over time because we're getting the candy damage, we're getting the Wisp. I, I, you didn't see how much the candy did to Cali, but it like did like five percent. Oh so. my, yeah, it's at plus three, I believe it. Yeah, All right, that's fine. Just got switch on their side, but that's completely yeah. fine. Hold on, now I have to go close my door because my dog opened it because he's <laughs> he's got thumbs. Now I wonder how much we want to make an aggressive read of following turn since we do get rid of the whimscott here which is just oh really wow the whimscott died from five percent who could have told who could have who predicted that now it's time for the instant play and the instant we have a few different routes we could take because 
uh we have the grassy terrain we have miracle seed i imagine with the intimidate even i'm pretty sure we're helping hand wood hammer which is ko to Kalia. it's where it's at so if we yeah. want to take out into that slot we could go for that wood hammer i don't think wood hammer is KOing the Kali ice after the intimidate from right here I, i'd say it's really close i mean wood hammer is pretty strong from real boom but it's Kali ice it's broken that's true um yeah, I yeah I think helping hand wood hammer is probably the play since we're out prioritizing it. I mean, the question is who did they fake out? Because that's also a big question. I don't I, know. I think they always do. fake out the the the. Uh, I think Blasto should be the target too, but like it is kind I, of it, it is kind of up in the air now that I think about it because they might want to get rid of Boom early. I mean, I wouldn't mind just going for the cannon cannon into Insin and switching out into Zacian because their Kali Ice should be in range of Grassy Glide. The only problem is how many turns of Grassy Terrain are left because I think we only have three right now as of this turn. Um, oh, four. four. Okay, we could probably right. work with that. What do you think then? I think cannon and switch Reelaboom is the safest play or do you want to make the aggressive call? I wouldn't mind making their aggressive Let's call. Let's do the aggressive. I, I actually trust the aggressive call marginally more. All right. Because I think they want to keep in sin here. Oh. Oh. No, no. Oh. Help I know. I know. I'm, yeah. just, I'm just getting paranoid. Yes. <laughs> okay. okay. Easy. And uh, good thing we didn't have to worry about max speed Cali Ice because we always outspeed any, unless it's Choice Scarf, we were fine. <laughs> yeah. And now we have no reason not to... Um, I, do you think after Intimidate, our Grassy Glide is fine? Like, we can just Grassy Glide, Max Cannonade. Or, not Cannonade, Kedra Cannon. Uh, I mean... Maybe it's just I, safer to sack the Ensign here. You mean sack the Zacian? Oh, yeah, sorry, Zacian, yeah. I mean, we could just go for... Well, the Kyra is chip, so Grassy Glide could, potentially. I, I think just going for the Grassy Glide into a, can, or a Cannon is fine here. Yeah, all right. Or you could go for the help of hand grass to glide, but of course that risks instant having something strange here, like a will -less potentially. Yeah, I think I'd rather just remove Insin because that just gets rid of so many options for them as far as like defensive yeah, play versus like, this. As long as like Blastoise doesn't go down, as long as we don't get like double crit here, I think like Zacian plus like one of these partners should just always win. I mean, we, we could also cannon. technically wood hammer, but that's risky because we don't know the speed tier that the Kyogre is at. Nah, I would just always grassy glide here. We know it's not scarf and just any damage puts in range of the Zacian yeah. attack in the back. We're also not scared of thunder. Uh, oh yeah, because we do have the Vakan Barry, right? Yeah. There's no Kali Ice right now. If Kali Ice was out, we would we actually would have to worry about the thunder. Speaking of thunder, James, what's the worst Imagine Dragon song? Like, they're all pretty bad, but... Uh, you're asking the wrong person about music because I don't know anything about music. Dang. All right, so the correct answer was all of them. I don't know. Let me look up Imagine oh, it's Blizzard. Dragon. That's fine. Our Zacian wins at this point. Yeah. Also, it's Life Orb, I think. Yeah, I mean, there's no reason to run Blizzard if you're not. Yep. That took the thing really well. Yeah. All right, sick. I meant not the Blizzard. I meant the Cannade earlier from the rain remember we did so little damage but i guess that's just blastoise for you yeah i mean it's the fact that like we're relying on our rain dance to do any damage to anything in the first place so if a kyogre even switches in even though it's giving us rain it's like it's kyogre it's got like so much special bulk and it resists it <laughs> actually i mean the candy damage really just helped us out a lot actually we did really well yeah Oh yeah, Demons is probably the only song I've probably heard from Imagine Dragons, I think. I forgot they released that. Alright, question of the day for the viewers. What's the worst Imagine Dragons song? Okay, I know this is a common IGN because I swear there's like five people running this IGN, but... Uh, okay, a rain team. Our Mandatory team. Sableye. Ah, uh, yeah. Definitely bring Sableye. Wiz spam is so good against their team, actually. Like, uh, Sableye Rush Ram actually can really go in here if we On want. On lead, do you think? Because um, if we lead off with it, like, we basically KO anything besides P2 turn one. 
Because we I can my, flush. I mean, my only problem is our P2 answer is like terrible. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if we get it to like a 2v1, we win, but it's we do bad versus it. Yeah, we do have a Zacian too. It's just going to be pretty strange here. Uh, do you like Stoice? Uh, I, I think see. the helping hand could be like really important for a few like situations. I could, I could see us going real boom. The only reason is because we don't have a ground switch. This is true. This is true. We don't have a ground switch. Yet. Also, I do think we're dynamaxing probably rush ram in this game. So yeah, so Blastoise would be allocated almost entirely to helping hand fake out stuff. Yeah, I don't like Blast. Unfortunately, as much as I would like Blastoise, the only problem is I don't think I would like Blastoise against a Venusaur and a Reggie Alaki at the same time. <laughs> yeah. Is Blastoise the only Kanto starter that hasn't won like a major yet? Or did it actually win one yet? Uh, let's see. I'm trying because... to think, because it's mostly been Sun if it's any of the Kanto. Regionals, uh, Venusaur and... Charizard have one unless it's I don't think Blastoise has won anything in this format. I know Blastoise probably won some stuff oh, probably God. in 15. Oh, we just give this thing Pranks to recover. Honestly, that's fine. Uh do you this... wanna Do you wanna quash I almost want to max flare Regieleki because it's not gonna Dynamax here. It's gonna get out if anything, but if it's eerie impulse, it could be a little annoying. I'm fine with quashing if you want, yeah. And we could also be facing Eerie Impulse P2, which is the annoying part. Do you part. want to max Flare, though, or do you just want to go for a... Do you want to waste flare. a max move? I yeah. think Blue Flare is better. It's 85 accuracy, but, you know, built-in wide have, lens. We could have also just Earth Power. They Dynamax? That's irresponsible. I think that's kind of irresponsible. I mean... It's going to be Dynamax P2. I mean, we're glad if it's a uh, Dynamax Eloquy. Well, I'm kind of glad we went for the blue flare because we weren't KOing anyway. Yeah. The Mac flare, but that's an interesting Dynamax. I thought they would switch. Like, I was hoping they would just go hard ground on. Oh, what? Um, this is getting weird. Uh, is this a target and a save lie? I would imagine. No, what? What? That's got to be physical, judging off the damage. No, isn't that special? That's a dope damage. <laughs> I think even physical wouldn't do much damage to a Reshiram. I mean, we have a Salt Vest, though. Oh, it's not Life know. Orb. And we oh, just avoid miss. it. All right. This is getting weird, and I don't know what to do. Uh, yeah. Uh... Maybe we just <laughs> wait. <laughs> I think if we just wait, we're fine. <laughs> but we kind of need to, like, max to not let them get too much damage. Do you just want to wait? Well, uh, the only problem is I kind of don't want... Uh, we could go let's let's let them do it one more time. Yeah, I just don't want to max here because, like, I feel like we're going to need max for, like, a Groudon scenario. Yeah, let's just Earth Power since it won't miss. Yeah. And I think we hold on to Boom because the fake out later on is going to be nice. And, yeah, Rillaboom could eat the hit fine, but I just... Uh, I think I'd rather just try to get rid of this thing. Maybe we should have doubled up that slot with Foul Play plus a Earth Power. Well, let's see. Okay. Sableye eats every time because of Sash. Wait. I'm curious if they thought we were going to ally switch turn one. No. Well, I mean, to be fair, it's 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 a rank 500 player, so they've seen some stuff. No, they've this seen... Is rank 2000, I Wait, think. what? The last player was 500. Oh, I'm mixing them up. Okay, yeah, then this makes a little bit more sense as to why they're doing this, but also they actively made their Aleki... They're going to ally switch this turn because they know that they lose their Aleki. I think this is the turn we just get in the boom, because next turn we have fake out pressure, and if we call the ally switch, then we have fake out pressure, and it's just no, like... No, no, I, I do like the boom, yeah. I yeah. like the boom and... Uh, Earth power the P2, because there's no reason not to ally switch. Yeah, I wouldn't mind Earth power here. Because, like, what what do we lose? Uh, the, the worst case is if they Eerie Impulse, I guess, but yeah. That's why I don't want to max the Reshiram, because... Well, Eerie actually, Impulse P2 could be annoying, yeah. Actually, if they're allies, so they probably don't have Eerie Impulse now that I think about it, unless they drop Recover. Dude, you don't understand, dude. Their Prankster ally switch. That ally switch is going to go before everything now. <laughs> dude, plus two. It goes before Fake Out and Grassy Glide, which is actually kind of annoying. Now it goes before Helping Hand. <laughs> 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 All right, well, we got the play right. Well, goodbye. goodbye yeah, they don't have Eerie Impulse. 
I'm trying to think. Like, they have Recover. Like, that's a given. They have Trick Room. They probably just have, like, Foul Play or Ice Beam or something. Wait, it's fake, fake House plus three, right? Yeah, Fake House plus three. Ally Switch is plus one? Yeah. No, no, no. Ally Switch goes before Fake Out? I think. No. If Fake... If Ally Switch is Prankster, it's plus two. Yeah. Which means so Fake now Out it, should out speed. Yeah. Ally Ice? Yep. Yeah. Alright, cool. Um... I kind of want to make... Do I want to go into Sableye? No, we just fake out every time into the Cali, because... Yeah. Um, and we don't Dynamax yet. Because we want to save that for next turn. So maybe we just Blue Flare, because how many turns of Trick Room are left? Three? It should be three, yeah. Uh... I think we just Blue Flare. What do you think? I think that's okay. Cause I want to like, see, yeah. see the speed interactions right here, which I think is really important between P2 and the Kali Ice. Unless they protect here, which I think is very fair, but I don't mind because like the P2 is not... <laughs> Wait, it does go before Ally Switch? It's Prankster Wait. now, dude. It's Prankster now. Is it Ally Switch plus one? No, Ally Switch is plus two. That's why everyone hates it. And now it's plus three, so it goes before that. <laughs> we made okay. a monster. <laughs> All right. Wait, the good wait, news this, is we have Will O Wisp. Wait, this is really bad. <laughs> yeah, it's it's really really bad. Um, we have to. I think. All right, we could Will O Wisp, right? That that's a thing that we could do. But I legitimately think that our only way of winning this is if we just quash to make it go last and max flare, and we have to call it there. Because if we Will O Wisp, we're just yeah. still gonna lose the rush your M. That's pretty much our out. Oh my god, that's such a... We made a monster, James. Wait. <laughs> Alright. Who's it gonna be? Do you want me just to flip a coin? Because it doesn't matter. I I'm down to flip a coin. <laughs> Alright, um... Crap, I don't have a coin. Hold on. I'm gonna flip a Bulbasaur. If it lands head facing me... Then we do the Calyrex. If it lands head facing anything else, we're gonna do, or facing the opposite direction, we're gonna, you know, do the P2. The head's facing me. All right, Quash. <laughs> James, I'm scared. <laughs> I don't like this. Why do I remember Grass gliding before a, a ally switch? I have no idea why. <laughs> I, 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 I don't know, man. Mandela effect or something. All right, here we go. I mean, I guess I'm just usually calling the allies just before I'm attacking anyway. <laughs> yeah, but the issue is, <laughs> dude, the fact that we have an ally switch going before fake out is just. Uh, uh. <laughs> Wait, we didn't call this, right? <laughs> we that's exactly what what we didn't call. Yes, that is the worst thing that could have happened. Unfortunate. Okay. I'll I take responsibility for this. I, <laughs> I really thought Alice was plus one for some reason. I, I knew know. it was plus two, but I kind of just let you. Uh, Alright. Can, we, can uh, we win this? I don't know. We have a full health Zacian. Um, and I think there are two turns of Trick Room, so our, our out is double protect into calling an ally switch. Wait, I think it's... Isn't this the last one? No, I think there's one more. Yeah, we protect and then it's over, right? Let me see, let me see. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Okay. Protect. Um, but the issue Don't. is they could also trick room with P2, so do we call that? Eh? You know, it's... Yeah, that we're gonna... I think we, we have gonna to. We're also probably gonna have to crit. We might also have to dodge one attack. That's uh, actually still somehow playable. <laughs> yeah, we need to... If we can dodge a high horsepower, I don't think we can... Oh, is that a fake out mod? Instant? No, grab on. All right, well, we live one from this. We have to crit now. <laughs> well, we don't actually live one from this. Oh, because uh, it's single. Yep. <laughs> so we dodge. Pretty much. I'm just glad they didn't double trick room on us. If it's heat crash, we always lose, though, or like fire punch. Who knows? Yeah. Maybe it's like a bad set. 
Don't be focused, Ash. Cali, I see her. It's, oh, it's okay. The we okay. can crit. We can crit. Hold on. It doesn't KO, but we can crit just to, just so they know. Just so they know not to do this again. You know, I think it was over the turn it traced. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't know it yet. No, if I, if I knew about the, that mechanic, we should have always like, I think for attack the max dragon, we would have been fine. The real boom. Uh, I hate it. <laughs> but then again, if it was wider, we were still we would have been screwed regardless. So I don't know. There is, I guess we would have to take in the knockout Cali. That's just so awkward that they actually traced our. Oh, there were the bulk up leftover set. And then I forgot. Wait, their bulk up shadow claw. Yeah, I. Is this not um, Alex Underhill's set? What? I don't think so. Alex Underhill ran bulk up Shadow Claw, if I remember. He's a ca since when he <laughs> he was a Cali Ice player with Palkia. Let me no, because this happened. This let me look it up. Hold on. Twitter, hold on. Viewers were debating. Give me a second. <laughs> Alex Underhill. All right, let's go to his media because he definitely tweeted out an image of the team after the tournament because I remember it doing well. Hold on. Alex Underhill bulk up Groudon. Da, 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 da. Who ran the bulk up Groudon? I could have sworn that was him. Bulk of Groudon has done well, but it wasn't Shadow Claw bulk up. It was just protect the lefties bulk up. Yeah. All right. I was still and right that, about. I was and, still right about uh, Ally Switch. So we'll call that. We'll call that even. And, and that was Gavin Michaels who won. Gavin Michaels. That's who it was. Okay. I don't know why I thought it was Alex Underhill. Yeah, but it was. Rock, I think it was Stone Edge bulk up protect. I don't think it was Rock Slide. It might have been, but yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's my bet on the Ally Switch. I don't know why. I'm, I'm, I'm sort of the expert at losing the ally switch, so keep that in mind. <laughs> Usually, I'm just the guy who will read an ally switch instead. Dude, I, I, I hate reading ally switches in best of ones. I'm cool with it in best of three. I don't care. Best of ones. I hate that. <laughs> also, I hate it more in best of three. <laughs> really? Because they can hide it all the way into the last game, right? Yep. I think and this is Zapdos you... game. This is... I mean, Restaurant could also just, like, power through this team, too, realistically. We don't even need Zapdos. That's true. That's true. The reason I, I say Zapdos is because I think that we want to, like, just go quash Max Lightning if they lead off Zard. But they could also call that and go right into um, that's, Groudon. That's just, but hear yeah, me that, out. If they do go Groudon, we rain dance Max Weatherball. What if they just go Gastro? I think they're, they're not going to go. I don't, uh, they are, but I don't know if they'll go Gastro into the Zapdos. I think they could do the Charizard in the Gastro turn one instead. That's true. All which right. Is, which is why I like Sableye Reshram, because we can rain dance on the Charizard. And we still have that that grass move. Yeah. All right. Uh, Stoice in the back, or it's going to be a one Stoice wonder. This might be a... I mean, I could see it over Zacian. I'm just a little bit worried about the real boom, but I could see us just bringing Stoich just for Incineroar because we don't have... I think... Uh, An Icy bring, Wind stuff could be useful. I think Blastoise real boom is probably correct. Yeah. Good news is we Dynamaxed in one with it game one, so we're good. <laughs> well, let's see if we can take a, another win right here. Uh, yeah. Have we had it undefeated on the series so far? Uh, like, I mean, we probably first did. episode we did. It was Colin and I went undefeated with Dual Weather Venusaur. Yeah, it makes sense. Uh, Grimmsnarl and Cinnaror. Okay, this is the passive classic. Yeah, this is fine. Um, I guess the question is, what do we want to do though? I mean, both of these guys could absolutely shut down the Dynamax here, so I don't want to max. Um, yeah, I would just want to drop damage. Yeah, uh, I think I just want to go for the Wisp 
Hunt you, can't, Star? you can't whisper. Oh, Dark you're Man. right. You're right. <laughs> Sorry. I, I think we just go hard Blastoise on the Sableye slot. That's true. Blastoise, we can just go for like Earth Power here. Just accept a fake out. I wouldn't mind getting a blue flare into Grim, because honestly, that Grim's going to be super annoying for us. That's true. We didn't bring Zok. We're probably going to get. All right. That, that's fine. No fake out? Maybe like yeah. the parting shot or a snarl. Yeah. If he uh if he goes grout on here, I apologize for not flaring. Nah, I think it I think this is still probably okay, but I'm just worried about like who's actually being brought out here. I mean I'd imagine it's, if they have both restrictions, it's probably grout on. I don't think you're gonna go Zosh in here. And who knows? I don't, at least on the bright side, I'm pretty sure they didn't bring Gastro. Yeah. <laughs> for some reason. If they bring ga if if they bring out Gastro here, it makes it a little bit worse. But if they didn't, like Blastoise literally just goes in. Pretty much. Uh, I'm kind of curious on who they're actually gonna bring. I don't mind them bringing out Groudon. I, I'm just a little bit worried if they bring out Charizard, I guess, because that thing is gonna do some damage. But yeah, Groudon comes out. All right. Yeah. I I don't think they brought the Gastro. I don't think they brought the Gastro either. Um, get, unless they brought no Zacian, which I think is actually kind of fair against our team because we don't need to actually be like our Zacian matchup is actually probably pretty good. Yeah, that looks AV. Ah, uh, yeah, probably. Do you want to just go for it and then hard switch in the uh, the Sableye? Do you want to go Sableye or do you want to go Rillaboom? I kind of want to go Sableye because we're not going to set up rain here. And if we're going to cannonade, like this will probably put it in range of two. The only problem is I think they light screen this turn or they're thunder waving the blast. So it's the candy it might put the ground in range of grassy glide, which I kind of like. Yeah, let's go boom. The only problem with save light is even if we get the rain dance up, we're probably not KOing the monster light screen anyway. It, yeah. And also like if they do have a gastro in the back. Yeah, boom cover covers. It, That's what I was thinking just now. Like if there is a save light or if there is a, a gastro at the very least, boom threatens. So, All right. Let's see. If it's uh, right here. No switch, so we're probably good on the on the gastro front. Yeah, we don't confirm if they maxed yet. I mean, the only problem, I guess, is well, if it's Zacian in the back, if it is, let's say Zacian, their Dynamax options are pretty weak if they don't Dynamax the ground now because they're taking a decent amount of damage alongside the Cannonade. So yeah, it's probably pretty acceptable. Yeah, that's a that's a Dynamax. That's that that's that classic Dynamax pause. The game's thinking. <laughs> okay, so it should be Quake. I just don't know what the Grimson is doing. It's probably just T waving. <laughs> I mean, it's I better like than the Spirit Break. Right. You know, I better than like here, but yeah, <laughs> it's better than the alternatives. And the fact that our Blastoise is faster than their Groudon also guarantees that our uh, Rillaboom's faster. But you know, we're gonna get Thunder Wave anyways. I think they're gonna thunder rate the Rillaboom the next turn. It's possible. Because we could potentially just go for the wood hammer if they think we're gonna glide and just try to get like something else up. Yeah, like I want a wood hammer regardless, but yeah. I'm just pointing out we're probably gonna get thunder waved. <laughs> Alright, no full para? Cool. Alright, let's get this chip. This is doing like 10, 15 percent. Actually, that did some pretty decent damage. Yeah. I guess his light screen's not up yet. Yeah. Oh well, that might. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that makes more sense. We should we should probably give less credit to Blast. <laughs> uh, that's. Do you think that's in range of Woodhammer? I mean, we are we are Miracle Seed and Adamant. Uh, yeah, that should be in range of Woodhammer. The only problem is, is they reflect before we get the Woodhammer off or yeah. the U wave. I think we still just double because they can't protect. I would imagine. Uh, yeah, just double. Unless, yeah, I think I think doubling is fine here. It is very concerning though if they somehow, for some reason, do actually have a gastro in the back. <laughs> Even then, we still KO it this turn if they like just go hard into it. Well, I guess you know if they could switch out the Grim Snarl, but then we don't get you know Thunder Waved. No, I meant like for a late game. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, if they thunder wave us here and go for like max heat crash, yeah, we're, we're gonna lose our, our boom, so. 
Yeah, that's uh, life right here. Uh, they went for reflect. Okay. All right. Actually, um, we we KO. The... We still KO, I think. I do not think. Well, not well, with I... wood hammer. I mean, like the combo. Aid, maybe. Yeah. I wonder if Grass Glide would have done more. No, I think wood hammer probably still does, right? Yeah. Well, actually, we have to hit through the paralysis, which is. Ooh. Wait. They quake. They probably expected us to go in the restaurant then. Yeah. Dang, if we grass the glider, we would have had a Rayla Boom still alive. You know, if we do connect this, the late game rain dance kind of goes hard. And we do, thankfully. I'm still really worried about our Grim matchup, though, because we did not have a Pokemon that hits the Grim other than No, Rayla no, no, Boom. we're fine, we're fine. Because what's going to happen is. Okay, good. What's going to happen this turn is Grim's still taking some residual, and he hasn't. Uh, he does have, like, two. Is it three special defense boosts now? Yeah. Or two. Something. I don't know. He has it special defense is... boosts. I think it was only two. It is only two because they quaked our real boom twice. Yeah. I think we always go Sableye here because we can't get faked out. And we should just go for like Hydro Cannon plus Rain Dance onto the Grim and get as much damage as possible. Because it's not like Grim has recovery beyond the grassy terrain. Well, my only issue is if they do have Rush Room in the back, because uh, I think we would want to whisk the Rush Room first. You mean Zacian? Yeah, or Dizashin, yeah. <laughs> That's still fine, you know. Uh, we can... Icy Wind's kind of dumb, because we're paralyzed on a Rush Room. I was thinking for a minute, I was like, yeah, we could, we could Icy Wind. Yeah, I, no, we always wisp. I think we can aid it. Yeah, we can aid the Grim, I think, because uh, I think the is just in range of anything from our rush ram yeah the only thing is this late game is going to come down to paras and uh yeah that's not exactly pleasant yeah i kind of hate it all right he's probably just going to spirit break here Let's see if they have foul play too because if they have foul play this makes it easier for us oh i hope it's foul play Spirit break no, all right that's fine play. um do you think they worse. go in sin I could see them trying to go instant, yeah. Alright. Alright, I, I want to call the instant here, because... Honestly... I think that we want to rain dance Cannonade Grimmsnarl. Because they, they should go instant. They can't risk the burn here with a with a Rush Ram in the back. They need to make sure they're player off one-shots. Do you want to rain dance Cannonade the Grim, or do you want to rain dance Cannonade the instant coming in so they can't switch? Yeah, you're right. Cause like, and it is—it's already it, taken some chip here too. My only problem is we're not KOing the Grim with Rain Dance plus Cannon even after Cannonade damage. So yeah, you're right. Oh, wrong one. Yeah, and I'm, I would imagine that how many turns of Cannonade are left? One. Yeah, it's one. One. I think that this might KO Zacian in the rain if they stay in after the Cannonade damage. It's it's possible. Yeah, I think that's very likely. So I'd rather just rain dance cannon B. All right, nice. cool. We got that right. It's actually Don't funny. Miss. To... <laughs> if we miss here, <laughs> or if we get full parrot, I'm gonna cry. Because <laughs> this yeah. is, from their perspective, this is the sickest turn ever. Rain dance. I guess the only problem is Zacian is still really annoying. They could also spirit break our blast dice, but I don't think they do. Your break. All right. Behold, yeah, we're not going. getting fully parried. Say it out loud. Say it. If I say it, we're going to get it. Okay, okay we're fine. All right. <laughs> Ironic. Even after all this reading, we're still not even close to out of the woods yet. Yeah, because our we can't protect either of our Pokemon this turn. Um, well, both our Pokemon are paralyzed. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, yeah, but also we can't even like protect like a reshiram here to cover for the recharge turn because we're av um i think though regardless we kind of ignore the the grim snarl here yeah i think we have to focus the sock unfortunately and also I we can't we can't helping hands like earth power i think we always just hydro cannon earth power because if well, one of them well, gets full parried. Well, we're recharging anyway this turn. Yeah, so we have... I'm just talking about like next turn if we get the opportunity. Yeah. Also, we could probably be losing our rush ram here realistically. Yeah, like spirit break plus play rough. 
Wait, light they screen. have light screen? Why didn't they click that like eight turns ago? <laughs> Play rough. Disconnect. We should live one. We took that better than All right, I we didn't get full para. Right? Yeah. Um, we could crit this. And well, we kind of have to. Probably going down before. I think this is probably a loss right here unless we crit the cannonade. That's, a, that's what I'm off. talking about. Like, we can crit the cannonade and that's our only way out. I'll, yep. Maybe we should have went for the blue flare burn. It's just in the last. That's turn. true. <laughs> is, what's the chance to burn have. on it? 30? Yeah, it's pretty high. <laughs> All right. Well, check it out. You know, I have faith that we're going to crit this cannon. Or to dodge play rough, but uh. Oh, oh wait. Hold wait, on. Wait, wait, hold wait, on. Wait, wait, hold wait, on. Wait, 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 wait. Did they double? Break? He didn't double. He didn't double. That, that was massively irresponsible. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 okay. wait, 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 <laughs> please don't do this. No, <laughs> it was bound. Okay, it was bound to happen. Realistically. Yeah, I think we hit through so many turns of para like I, I wouldn't be mad. <laughs> Might as well. <laughs> I mean, let's be real. Actually, uh, he could miss a play. No, he has no reason to play rough here. Nah, we lose. The Grim would just seal. All right, let's game. do Let's do the funny then. This is this is this is how you forfeit a game, guys. Yeah, I was gonna say like the only way we win is if you play us. Also, or just technically not to attack for the rest of the yeah, game. Yeah, technically our optimal play there was to wait the full thirty seconds and hope they disconnect. True. <laughs> That's or fine. Just or blue flare burn disaustion. If we blue flare burn disaustion, we actually probably had a shot. Yeah. All right, that's fine. To be fair, all the games were really good, except for the ally switch game. Uh, and we got to use GMAX Blastus in two games. So regardless, I consider this a W. Yeah, all the games were actually like pretty close. We could have actually just won the two games we lost anyway. Like they came down really close. I mean, the Grim Snarl game was, I think we could have probably managed better. I mean, if we just click Grassy Glide, I think we would have had a way better chance, but. Yeah, and the Ally Switch P2 game was just chaos. Yeah, I think we should have probably preserved our, our, our real boom a bit better because mm -hmm. if we did, having Grassy Glide for the Grim Snarl would have just made our lives so much yeah. easier. <laughs> Especially since we kind of, since we weren't bringing Zok, we had to deal with that uh, Grimmsnarl using our real boom, and we didn't get any damage other than Cannade, so mm -hmm. yeah, like, otherwise, I felt like the team actually performed pretty well and better than I expected, Yeah. and yeah, we had a pretty strong victory too, and yeah. ironically, we won against the highest rated opponent and then <laughs> lost. lost against the other two. <laughs> <laughs> That's just Pokemon for you though. It is what it is. But yeah, uh, you got anything you want to plug before uh, the video ends? Ah, uh, not really. I guess if you want to check out more VGC stuff, you can check out the YouTube channel and uh, check out Beast Coast Pokemon where we do a lot of uh, VGC stuff. Me and Aaron do a lot of uh, uh, VGC analysis and we got a lot of new series probably coming up and it's an exciting time in the next couple months So should be pretty great. Yeah, and uh, what I've been doing ever since Joe told me to do it because it's funny uh, Is at the end of each video I only say the first half of the name for the next guest and then cut it off with editing So yeah, uh, join me next time when uh, we use GMAX Butterfree with our special guest Ne-